Okay, so the parts are laid out here for issue 63. Uh, oil cooler, don't know what that is. I think it's, what does it call it? Um, oil tank, so you've got oil tank, oil cooler, a few of the details and then a pipe uh, section and these um, yeah, other details. So uh, yeah, all checked off, all there. Uh, plastic parts, fairly nicely detailed though. Uh, but uh, we're just going to get this assembled. This will be uh, issue 63. Okay, so first thing it's asking us to do is to assemble this uh, oil cooler uh, and it's just taking this uh, main part and attaching the support, is it support? Or just cause it a fitting, so it's just that part there. Okay, and it's just gonna be going into that hole there. So quite simply, just a push fit. Make sure we go the right around. Oh, wrong way around, 50 50 chance, blew it, so it goes kind of that way around. Yep, so it goes on like that. And that orientation. Okay, and that's the oil cooler. And then the oil tank's coming over, and this part here, which is the gauge, I guess. Gauge, it's just kind of going to go in. It's, uh, it's, it's two holes on this oil tank, it's going to fit into. That's what that looks like. See that? So that's the oil, oil tank and oil cooler assembled. Okay, now we're bringing over the main engine part. Where this comes. And we need two parts from issue 53 and a couple of screws. Part A and part B. Okay. Part A, I don't know if they're marked. Yeah, they uh, probably are in the, in the issue, but part A, which is the first one you're going to be fitting, has a longer hose, so that has a longer hose than that one. Uh, and part A is going to be going onto this side of the uh, engine, so it's just going to be fitting in that area there. And it's going to be fitted with a type T screw. So I've been to my screw bag, I've got a screw storage area and got some type T screws out there. So that kind of goes in that. You can see it there. So we've got that in there, obviously just gonna go into all there. That goes in there and then screw from the other side. Part B, which is the one with a shorter hose, it's just going to do exactly the same on the other side. Okay, so those both on. So now we've got this wiring part, we've got this issue, and we're going to be fitting that to this bit. So the bit that's got the right angle, or the, the angled part, not quite a right angle, a 45 degree angle. Okay, that part, and it's going to be going onto that side. The hose coming out of that side, the straight edge is going to be going on the one that comes out of that side. Okay, and then it connects up to a hole 
on the just on the bottom side of that. So you can just make out that hole now. Yeah, it's just just in that area there. Okay, that's what that's going to fit onto. Hardest thing, if you like, or one of the hardest things, is going to be rooting. It seems to be You're rooting this hose through. So take the short hose, which is this one on this side, root it through. Silver ones out of the way. I wonder where these silver ones are going to go, actually. I don't know if it tells you to do this, but that silver one is definitely getting in my way. This silver one, so I'm going to kind of feed that back through to take it underneath. I can't remember if it told me to do that or not definitely getting in the way so I've fed that underneath now so that looks that's going across the top that silver one there so I've fed that in between I can't remember if it told me to do that and I just missed it that makes that a bit easier anyway coming back to what I'm meant to be doing so bringing this through here's the hose This one is coming through there and it goes underneath the engine. Underneath the engine up through and then attaches to the underside. Okay, and then this whole assembly I'm going to kind of feed through these hoses and attach to there's a hole on the side just under here and then attach that to take it under there as well That's quite tough to go on, to be fair. But okay, that's kind of on. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh, there. Like, just in the engine bay there. Just if I can highlight it, screwdriver. It's just there. Okay. So quite difficult to go in along with everything else on this engine. Much has been very easy on this engine, but there we go. Okay, so that was issue 63. Once again, not the easiest issue to get on. Uh, there's the center image. Uh, once again, color image of a racing Ferrari. Uh, so that was yeah, issue 63, 64, 64. Uh, issue 64. Uh, what are we doing? The gearbox oil cooler. Okay, so we're going to look like we're going to be fitting. Uh, oh, no, we're not fitting the gearbox. So as always, we're not fitting actually the part we're getting. We're just going to be fitting on. Looks like the bumper. Yeah, so we're not actually fitting the gearbox intercooler. We're getting the gearbox cooler, but we're not fitting it. We're just going to be fitting the rear bumper on. So that'll be sixty-four, and that'll be coming up soon. So that was my presentation of this issue of Build a Ferrari F40 Compezioni by Panini Collections and Centura magazine. And if you'd like to see progression of this model from where it is now up to completed car, then don't forget to subscribe. And you can click the bell if you'd like to be notified any time that a video goes live on the channel. Because I've also got, I'm building an Ecto-1 and a uh, Spitfire as well. They're both part builds, so you can check those out as well. Um, but hey, thank you very much for watching. Hope to catch you again on the channel soon. Take care and ta-da for now.